Good morning, and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen. So glad that you're here today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're brand new, or even if you're not brand new, make sure you say hello and tell us where you're from. If you're watching the replay, don't forget hashtag replay in the state or country where you're from. One of the recipes isn't good for you at all, but that's why I wanted to make two recipes. One that wasn't really good for you, and one that was kind of good for you, so then you could eat both and not feel so bad. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start with the one that's not so good. Start with the dessert, right? Yay. All right, I've got my big mixing bowl. This is the deep artesian bowl. And the only reason I'm using this is because I'm gonna have to use my hand mixer this morning and there's powdered sugar involved. And so, you know, poof. So I want the deepest bowl that I have, which is this one. Into my bowl, I have eight ounces of cream cheese. Cream cheese, kind of softened, room temperature. That's what you want it. And then we're gonna start adding in all of our other ingredients, okay? All right. So, the first one is some brown sugar. Only need a quarter cup of brown sugar, all right? Remember when you're doing brown sugar, you pack it in there, pack, pack, pack. Gorgeous. So the powdered sugar, we're gonna need a cup and a half. Okay, all right, now to this, we're gonna need a half of a teaspoon, so not even a whole teaspoon, a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon, in we go. What's next? Oh, the peanut butter. Look, I have the mango thing of peanut butter. What do you like? Do you like crunchy or smooth? And then what's your brand? This is Jif. Now we're gonna need um, a cup of peanut butter. Now, of course you could, I'm not measuring. I'm just not because I just, you can figure out what a cup of peanut butter looks like, right? That looks like three quarters of a cup, so I'm gonna put just a little bit more. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe this on the side. You ready? Hand mixer, or you can use your, your Danish mixing thing or whatever. And then we're just gonna see how much powdered sugar we will get all over us, right? Woo, powdered sugar. Ah! All right, now, this is the peanut butter part. Yay! Now, I have many chocolate chips. The Reese's peanut butter cup, the chocolate to peanut butter ratio. I think there should be a clear chocolate to peanut butter ratio. You don't have to put chocolate chips in your peanut butter mix, but come on. We're gonna need a piece of plastic wrap. Hello. So we're gonna put that on the plastic wrap. Ta-da! There we go. Look at that. Just put it on your middle. That's a huge ball. We could separate this off into two. We could probably have two, but I'm okay with a big one just for me. Or these might be really good as gifts. Cause you know, this year maybe, maybe you make more gifts. You know, like we did the little cakes. Um, I gave those out, and uh, this would be a nice gift. Maybe I can make it a little rounder. <laughs> I got the squishy butt. Okay, there we go. All right, in the refrigerator. Ta and da. And we're gonna start on our couscous salad, and as soon as that's firmed back up a bit, we're gonna roll it in chocolate chips, and then, oh, we're gonna eat it with either graham crackers or little Teddy Grahams, whichever you prefer. In my cabinet, I had this box. Now this says roasted garlic and olive oil couscous, so there's like some flavoring in there somewhere, right? Um, good morning, guys. All right, so, and to these, it says, um, I've already got my water boiling. I need to cut this open. And I'm going to, hold on. I'm just gonna snip the end so I can pour it in because I'm not gonna use all of it. All right. So I have boiled a cup of water and now I need a cup. Hold on. I thought I had everything out and yet, and yet. <coughs> I can't find what I need. All right, so I'm gonna put, you take that after you bring your water to a boil, it doesn't matter if it's this flavored kind or regular kind, you bring your water to a boil, 
Then you measure out how much couscous you're having. You put it in the boiling water. See how easy that was? We're gonna give it a stir. Just so, can you see in there? Okay, so we make sure that the couscous is all under the water or has been, there we go. I'm gonna smush down. And then we're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna set it aside, okay? That's it. In five minutes, we have couscous. How easy is that water boiling? Oh, wow. I don't know why. Uh, why are you having to boil water? Is something water wrong with the, with the water? All right, so you can use plain, it is a party in a bowl. You can use a plain couscous. You can use a flavored couscous. Um, I just follow the directions. If you're just using plain couscous, usually the, the ratio is 1.5 cups of couscous to two cups of water. That's usually what it is. Um, I just followed the instructions on this one, and this particular box said a cup of couscous and a cup of water. So that's what I did. All right, so there you go. I've given you couscous instructions. But Cindy, just plain old couscous? No. Is this gorgeous? Come on, tell me you don't think that this is so, so gorgeous. I just got it. Okay, so I know that this looks like a casserole dish, a covered casserole dish, which I guess, in fact, it is. But that doesn't mean you have to cook in it, right? So to me, this is great because it's got a lid on it and that means once I make it, I can put it in the refrigerator and all is good and well. So that being said, cutting board, here we come. Now you can put anything in your couscous that you happen to have in your pantry. All right, I have this tomato. Uh, some people don't like tomatoes and that's fine. Um, you don't have to use tomatoes, wholly up to you, all right? Look, mmm, yum. It, tomatoes are, do happen to be one of my fave, fave, fave food. When I was pregnant with my oldest daughter, that's all I wanted was fresh tomatoes. But they couldn't be from the grocery store. They had to be from the farmer's market. And so everybody we knew uh, would, anytime they went past, I know, I love that piece too. Uh, anytime they went past a, um, okay, that is not cutting well. Um, a fruit stand, they had to, they had to buy me fresh tomatoes. Sorry, I thought I had sharpened them earlier, but obviously I had not. Okay, tomatoes. Oh, much better. Thank you very much. Anyhow, so I, and I wouldn't really cut them up. I sat in the recliner, big old fat pregnant girl that I was, and I would, I got the salt shaker, and it was salt shaker and tomatoes. And that's, uh, the other thing I ate with her was chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes and gravy, and um, uh, fried okra. I love fried okra. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Yum! All right, is, is uh, Rebecca on? Because if Rebecca's on, I know that Vicky's on. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's any old homemade gourmet people watching. Hey, Jenna. Okay, so I'm just going to use one tomato. You can use what you want. Look, there's got a lot of juice, but I'm just going to stick it in the bowl. All right, now, cucumber. Because, now this is the English cucumber, remember? You can use whatever kind of cucumber. I eat peaches from the farm. Oh, peaches, yum. Um... If, remember, the, the good thing about the English cucumbers, and we're talking about you, you cucumber, you. Um, the good thing about the English cucumbers are you don't have to peel them. You can eat that. And the seeds, well, it has seeds, but it's not so burpy. I know that sounds kind of goofy uh, and maybe, you know, not very appropriate, but um, the, the seeds in regular cucumbers make me a little gassy. Hello, Melissa. So, um, I really prefer the English cucumbers just because I don't have to peel them. Again, lazy Cindy, and they're, they don't make me gassy. 
So is anybody on here that is an old homemade gourmet person? Say, say yes, so I know where you are. All right, so I'm dicing these up. You don't have to cut these in this small of a piece, but you know me, what is my favorite thing? The perfect bite. The perfect bite, I say. Okay, so now we have tomatoes and cucumbers. Yum! All right, I think I'm gonna do some green onions. I think I'll do two. Has anybody grown green onions? I think I wanna keep the bottoms, because I think if you just uh, cut the bottoms, I think you can replant those and make green onions. Does anybody know? I think that's what you can do. I ate, I made a big pot of greens. Vicky's here. Vicky's the only one here? Okay. Oh, cucumbers and onions and vinegar. Oh, me too, and yum. Um, so I'm gonna use this uh, green onion. If you don't like green onion, you don't have green onion, you'd like to use purple onion or yellow onion, you certainly can. Um, so I was asking Vicky if she had, or Vicky Ann, if she had gotten her shot, because she's in the UK. Um, Philip, hubby, is scheduled to get his COVID vaccination this week. So we're looking forward to that. All excited. I probably, because of my immuno, uh, my immunization, immu immunosuppression, I probably um, am in the second group. You always start onions from bulbs or plants. Okay. Hey, Linda Sue. Hold on. What did she say about, just put the green onion, shoot. Just put the green onion, bottoms in water, and you'll get more onion. Okay. So I don't even need to plant it. Stick the root in water and start the, and then plant. Okay. Good to know. I love edamame. Now, edamame is soybeans. These are, oh, well, this says mukamame, but it's the same thing, soybeans. Um, I think it's awesome. And uh, these are frozen, but I've thawed them out. So, look. There you go. That's what they look like. I love them, especially boiled and salted, mm, like popcorn. So, I'm going to add probably mm, a cup. If you don't have soybeans or you don't like soybeans, you could use green peas. Those would be good in there. All right. Now, because this is Mediterranean, oh, look, cheese. I have cheese. Get this. I got goat cheese. <clears throat> this is how much? Four ounces. You can use what you got. Goat cheese, blue cheese, whatever kind of cheese you have. I'm gonna just dump that in the bowl. And then, just because, um, this is a Mediterranean dish. Uh, we went outside and pulled these off of my mint plant. Look at that. Princess, little princess soy sauce bowl. Cool. Um, so that's what these are, these little pieces of mint. You could just tear them. Um, I'm just going to run my knife through them. Hopefully I don't cut my finger there. Oh, now it smells like mint. Anyway, I just thought that because, you know, Mediterranean cooking uses a lot of mint, and I'm not really using too many spices. The uh, couscous says that it has um, olive oil and garlic in it, so. All right, so here we go. Oh, see, this looks good all by itself, right? Try miniature edamame. I, I don't know that I've ever seen miniature edamame. Okay. See, look how pretty, pretty, pretty already, right? You could eat this just like it is. But wait, there's more. Our five minutes have passed, and look at that. Look, look, look. Now, normally, if you were gonna eat this, this is what you do. You take a fork, which I don't have a fork right here, but I have a spoon. See how it's like stuck in the bottom of the pan? And you, you do one of these numbers. Oh, you can use a spoon, see? And you just wanna fluff it up. See how you're, you're kinda going around? and you're just breaking it up so that it fluffs up and comes apart. See that? Easy stuff. Five minutes, right? All you did was boil water, put it in there. That's it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, right? Okay, now, I'm gonna put my couscous in my salad. Oh, yum. Now, the nice thing is this couscous is still warm, so when it hits, my goat cheese, ugh, it's gonna melt it just a little bit. 
Now, it's not a salad unless it has a dressing, right? A fluffy food. It is a fluffy food. There we go. Hello, Linda and Katrina and Cindy. Good to see you. All right. Um, oh, so good. But any kind of salad. Oh, the cheese is getting creamy. Yum. Any kind of salad needs a little bit of a dressing. So here's what we're going to do. Oh. Okay. We're going to do oof, a little salt and pepper because we have tomatoes in there. And you know tomatoes need salt. A little bit of pepper. Pepper for your puppy cock. <laughs> then I'm going to do a little bit of olive oil, okay? A little bit of olive oil. Well, there was not much olive oil in there. Hold on. We'll just, we'll just use some other oil. Okay, although I may have to re, look, that one's almost empty too. I have to refill all my little oil containers. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of white balsamic vinegar, okay? The white balsamic is sweeter, yum. But if you don't have it, you could use, you could use some apple cider vinegar. Oh, hold on, this one's not open. Ooh, short girl, Oh, there we go. This one's already open. Blanco Medina, mm, yum. I got turned on to this by Rob McLaren, my friend Julie McLaren's husband, because uh, he cooks a lot. All right, so, you know, a couple of tablespoons. We don't need this wet. We just need it flavored, right? Oh, so pretty. And the smells are delightful. You can see the tomato and the cucumber. You know what, if you have yellow squash or zucchini squash, if you have green bell peppers, red bell peppers, orange bell peppers, if you have, I'm trying to think of anything that you might have in your refrigerator or pantry that you can add to this. Cause really, mm. oh, the white balsamic is awesome. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my. Okay, and look at this. Put it in the refrigerator and let it cool. Chill it off, or you can eat it right now. Hello, Julie from Northwest Houston. All right, now, while that's there. Is there room in the freezer? No, just to get out. Okay, here, we're going back. We finished, we have finished that. Let me move all this, and now we have to go back. Here, it probably needs to be in the refrigerator for another 30 minutes. Really needs to be in there for at least an hour so that it hardens back up. But really, who has an hour? And so, do I really care if it's falling apart? No. But I'm just telling you on the instructions. So, take the rest of your chocolate chips, and then you got to have something to roll them in. Oh, I should have showed you this first. Hold on, I'm going to scoop the chips so you can see this really pretty. This is like a little quiche dish. Look at those pretty little red robins. Isn't that cute? Rockin' Robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. There we go, see the little robins? So pretty. It's a little quiche dish. All right, so I'm putting the chips, then I'm opening my ball, although not really a ball, still kind of, uh, still kind of smushy. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Uh, yeah, not a ball at all. Not a ball at all. Okay, ready? Oof, down. It'll it'll be a whole different, uh, now I'm just gonna pour some on top. <laughs> Watch chocolate chips everywhere. I went to get ice cream. You have the bistro mug in this pattern? Oh, you have the bistro mug in the robin pattern? Oh, I am so jealous. Okay, so you're just gonna smush your, you know, you know how to make a cheese ball, right? You're just gonna smush the chocolate chips onto the peanut buttery yumminess, right? Come out of the, oh, I have chocolate chips flying everywhere. Fly, fly! Anyway, so I went to get ice cream last night. Bluebell, vanilla. I get the bowl, I get the ice cream scoop, I come over here and I open the freezer. I pull it out. I swear to you, there was one tablespoon, like in the corner, like this much, 
Really? Really? Who thought that was a good idea? So I'm like, who did this? Who put this back in there? Nobody will take responsibility. But I know who did it, even though they won't take responsibility. All right. Now, this is a little, this is just a little tray, and these are graham crackers. Yum. Mm, love graham crackers. If this was in the refrigerator for an hour, well, I thought they were cardinals. Oh, well, you may have a cardinal one. This is the, this is the Robin one. This would be hard. The dog did it. Yeah, right. The dog did it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do because it really needs to be in the refrigerator longer so that it sets up, okay? So I'm gonna pull this out and just set it on here. Not as pretty as it should be, that's okay. And then I'll take my extras and put them all the way around, okay? Because again, I'm not wasting any chocolate chips. Anyway, so that I said, okay, well that's okay. Well, do you remember a couple of weeks ago, I made a cocktail with orange sherbet and, um, and some Prosecco or wine or something. I can't remember. I think it was a wine. A what? Oh, it was a, like a cupcake Moscato or something. And it was on, you know, adult beverage day. What brand was your vanilla? One tablespoon for shame. It was a half a teaspoon. Uh, and the brand is Cindy's Kitchen. I made it. Remember, Linda Sue, when we made homemade vanilla? See? Cindy's Kitchen. Um, so that was the brand of my vanilla. My girls always ask that. I know. So, so I'm like, okay, well, I really didn't want orange sherbet, but there's no bluebell vanilla, so I'll eat it. So I open it. Freezer burned. Okay, I put that in the trash. So then I'm like in the back, I see another thing of Bluebell and it's like, I don't know, chocolate cookie dough. And I'm like, all right, well, that's not necessarily what I wanted, but it'll be fine. So I pull that out. There's like a cup in there and it has freezer burn. I, I just gave up, I gave up. Luckily, I had a thing of white chocolate chip, uh, white Reese's, white chocolate Reese's thins in the freezer, and I ate those. So there you go. Okay, so now, I know it looks more like a log than it does a ball. It's huge, huge, I tell you, but that can be your lunch, right? <laughs> All right, so you can eat it with those, or if you wanna get cutesy, look, you can do Teddy Grahams, and you can put the little Teddy Grahams on the top. Look, I'm gonna do this, and they'll wave to you, hold on. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Hello, we're swimming in peanut butter and chocolate. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Love, love, love. All right, so let's take a bite. Let me take a bite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop onto my little. Mm. Mm. You should come to my house and help me eat that. Mm, mm, mm. All right, chocolate peanut butter cheese ball. Though really needs to set up further. So that's that. Now we gotta taste our couscous salad. Mm. Hold on. So, um, Vicky. Protective ice. How funny. Um, Vicki, Rebecca's not on. I thought she would be. But Vicki, I have to show you what I made yesterday. I found an old one of these. And look what I made homemade. <gasps> Vicki. Vicki, are you all excited? Look what I made. I did. I made a huge container homemade. <laughs> anyway. Okay. I've lost. Oh, I thought she came and brought it to me. But she did not. Well, maybe she did. Jessica, freezer, 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 freezer. Oh, what? okay.
I couldn't find, couldn't find. All right, let's clean up the mess. You ready? Ta-da! Oh, look how beautiful that is. Is that gorgeous? Look at all those colors in there, yum. Oh, Rebecca, okay, because it says Cindy's Kitchen. We put each other on our accounts, and so now when she's on and I type, it says more Polish pottery, and when she's on and she types, it says. So anyway, yes, Shazam loves it. Yeah, I made a huge, huge thing of that spice mix. All right, so anyway, this is, even though you look at this as a covered casserole, like to break, to bake, this is really nice to put your salads in and put it in the refrigerator, or you can do whatever side you want. Um, because you got a lid and ta-da, there we go. Oh, you make the Sunday roast all the time. I know. That's why you're silent. Well, you don't have to be silent. Okay. Oh, look, my spoon, it disappeared. Let me get another one. <laughs> Here, we'll get this. All right, you ready? Look. Now this is a cutesy little bowl, isn't that pretty? Doesn't that make you think of spring or summer and not cold at all? Look at this. That's one of the reasons I like these. Can I share the mix recipes? Um, I have to ask her. I don't know if she will say yes or no, but maybe. Doesn't that make you, if you're cold or if it's raining, look at that. You just look at that and you go, oh, it's not suspense. Well, okay, so Rebecca always says, um, that, you know, we've known each other for 18 years and um, we met selling food mixes and the name of the company was Homemade Gourmet. And that chicken enchilada soup mix was like one of our top sellers. And I love it. I can give you the recipe. The problem is you have to find cheddar cheese powder. And so I had to order it off of Amazon because you have to use a lot of this. And so that's the problem is you got to find that. But... I certainly could share, okay? So we should taste. Spoon, ready? All right, perfect bite. Hold on. I need I need an onion, I need a cucumber, I need, oops, some cheese. Okay, ready? This is a huge bite, sorry. Mmm, 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 mmm. You should have this, mmm. If you don't like goat cheese or feta cheese, Obviously, you could use a different kind of cheese, but a soft cheese like this, mm, it just melts in there. And the mint, it's just a hint of mint in the background. It goes so well with the goat cheese. It's like, because goat cheese is a little saltier than feta, just FYI. But there you go. All right, so we've made huge, huge, huge couscous salad. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. And we made our peanut butter chocolate cheese ball. Look, they're waving at you. See the little bears? Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching Cindy's Kitchen. We will see you guys on Thursday. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.